Hi, men who don't have sperm in the semen have a condition called as azoospermia. It happens to about 1% of all men. So today let's see why and how you get zero sperm count even if you may had normal count earlier. How to prevent it and your treatment options. So azoospermia means there is no sperm in your semen. It causes include maybe blockage along the reproductive tract, hormonal problems, ejaculation problems or issues with testicular structure or function. Many causes are properly treatable and fertility can be restored without opting for donor sperms. So keep watching till the end. You might have a problem where your testicles are not making enough sperms at all or there is a blockage that's stopping your sperms from coming out. In the second case, sperms are being produced properly. There are three main types of azoospermia. That is pretesticular azoospermia, that's when the problem is before the testicles. Your testicles are normal, but your body can't stimulate them enough to produce sperms. It might happen because of low hormonal levels or after you have had chemotherapy. This is usually rare. Next is testicular azoospermia. Here there is damage to your testicles that's stopping them from producing enough sperms. It can happen because of an infection or a childhood illness, injury, treatments of cancer like radiation and genetic causes. And finally, post-testicular azoospermia. Here, your testicles are making enough normal sperms, but something is stopping them from getting out. About 40% of men with azoospermia have post-testicular type of azoospermia. Now, azoospermia itself doesn't have any specific symptoms. So couples trying to conceive will experience infertility if the male partner has zero sperm count. And infertility is frequently the only sign that something is wrong. But some causes of azoospermia can lead to their symptoms like low ejaculate volume, or dry orgasm where you get no or little semen, cloudy urine after sex, painful urination, swollen testicles, small or undescended testicles, smaller than normal penis, delayed or abnormal puberty, difficulty in erection, reduced male hair growth and enlarged breast. But remember, in my homeopathic practice of the last 20 years, I have seen most of the men with azoospermia having no symptoms at all. And they still have azoospermia. So if you are trying without luck to get your spouse pregnant, your doctor might be first to check for semen examination. If the result shows no sperm in your semen, on two or three separate tests, then and then only you have got azoospermia. Your doctor will then try to figure out what's causing the problem. They will give you more tests, do a complete physical examination, ask for your medical history and test your blood to measure your hormone levels. Now if your hormone levels also are normal, your doctor may ask for scrotal or transrectal ultrasonograph to look for obstruction. An MRI may confirm the diagnosis. Now sometimes surgery is the only way out to find the obstruction. Now let's talk about the treatment. You can of course opt for donor sperms or surgery if the cause is obstructive. Usually dietary changes, supplements, vitamins, amino acids doesn't help at all in azoospermia. So please don't waste your time and money in those. Our specially formulated homeopathic treatment has shown very good scope in increasing sperm count and helping you father your own child. You can visit the link in the description for hundreds of success stories at Welling Clinic or directly call this number on the screen and book your appointment with a specialist for a detailed evaluation. Many of my viewers ask for specific medicine for zero sperm count. 
Now in homeopathy, there is no specific medicine for specific disease. The treatment needs to be customized by an experienced homeopathic consultant. That's all in today's episode of Dr. Welling's Health Show. See you in my next episode. Bye and take care.